Older homes such as these sometimes have doors that cause heat loss areas and so you want to focus on the areas in the home that have visible air leaks, especially around these older type doors. So we're going to install a weather strip. Standard packets include instructions, a package of screws, and usually three pieces of weather stripping. Two long pieces, one short. We're going to take our measurement from the top of the threshold, which is down here at the bottom, all the way to the top corner of the door frame. Next measurement is going to be taken at the top from edge of door frame to edge of door frame. One of the things I want to point out here is these two notches on top of each side weather stripping. You want to make sure that you don't cut these ends off of this weather stripping because this allows the top piece to transition into the two sides. So measure and cut on the other end. Starting from the coved in, we're going to take our measurement and run it down and mark out our measurements that we took on the door frame. Do this for both sides. So the next step in our process is to actually cut the weather stripping on our marks. So I got a little tip here. We're going to pull this weather stripping up the frame a little bit and this will allow us to cut the metal part with a hacksaw and we can cut our foam part at another point with a pair of scissors and then we can slide it back into the track. Don't forget to wear your safety gear. Use a file to clean up your edges. Now we're going to slide our weather strip out and trim that. And slide the piece back in. Now when cutting our top piece, we want to be careful not to lose the holes that are provided in the weather stripping. So we're going to cut even amounts off of each side of the weather stripping so we save those holes. So I'm measuring out equal amounts on both sides of my weather strip so I have an amount that ends up to the same as the top of my door. Okay, now I'm going to cut this piece the same as I cut the two side pieces by sliding the weather stripping out and back. I'm going to start with this top piece. We're going to line this up along the top of the door and we're going to mark out where our holes are at. We want to mark right in the center of the holes. This way it allows us some room to be able to push back and forth. Our weather stripping is coved, so we want to push up against the door a little bit. That way we know we have a nice tight fit. Now we'll slide our side piece in. Same procedure, we'll push up against the door. Now we'll do the other side. We're going to start in the middle and tack this into place so it's a little bit more manageable to work with. Now all the screws are temp installed, so all we're going to do now is go in and push in towards the door and tighten up all of our screws evenly. So now we've got our weather strip installed and we got a nice tight fit. This will stop our heat from escaping in the wintertime. 